My life in the FLDS was horrific. My family was considered privileged among the community. Some of my sisters were married to Warren Jeff's brothers. I started being abused sexually between the ages four and five. I was abused by family members, neighbors, and friends. Sometimes it would be one at a time, and sometimes it was in groups. One time, I was tied to an old-fashioned metal frame down in the basement of the shop. And terrible things happened that I was not in control of. I had a lot of bruises because I was held down so hard. Many times I was told this is what God wanted. And if you had been more obedient and more submissive, it wouldn't happen. I felt like a prisoner every minute, like every choice I made wasn't mine. One time I told a family member no, that I was sick of it and I didn't want to do it today. And because of it, I almost died. He was very, very, very angry and things happened that were terrifying. What was so terrible, I was not going through this all alone. There were many others who went through the same thing. Looking back, what was going on was horrifically sickening. Well, I'm glad you're here. Well, thank you for the opportunity. And, you know, this is not easy to think about and it's not easy to talk about. I'm aware of that. Do you think that this abuse that you endured is still happening inside the FLDS encampments? Yes, I do. Do you fear repercussions from them by you talking about it? Um, I do. <clears throat> um, you know, bringing Bringing my story to light, I have no idea what to expect. Well, this religion, as practiced by this group, the FLDS, is a group that you say the elite men raping, uh, molesting, abusing young girls is a matter of pride. It's, it's like a notch in the belts. It's something that they brag about and strut around about. Is that a religion that, that you fear being ostracized from? Or is that a perversion of a religion? I know now that it is a perversion. Um, I fear that I have lost what little connection I have with my family. Because you fear they're still indoctrinated. Yeah, I know that I still struggle sometimes. You say that this is so stressful to you that y y you suffer from dissociative identity disorder. I do. It's like I lose blocks of time. Mm -hmm. And then I suddenly become consciously aware again. And what happened between, I don't know. And the most common one that you escape to or escape the situation from is an eight-year-old girl? Yes, um, that one and also a mother figure personality that I take on as well. Do any of these different identities believe that the place for you to be is back inside the FLDS? I don't believe so. So there is some consistency that you're better off yes. outside than inside. And I think that is what's helped me to survive in right. a way out here. Okay. I don't want to go through the details. I don't want to embarrass you with any of it. But you were treated horrifically at this time, and you realize that was an abuse of power, that was a perversion of religion, and not something that is good for you at any level, right? Yes, I think on some level I always knew what was happening was wrong. No, but you're was powerless wrong. to do anything about it. You don't have the ability to choose Exactly, at that point. and then you just do whatever it takes to get through it. To survive. Yeah.